Alright, so I'm going to record this short video to show you how um, you can complete Independent Challenge 1 in Outlook Unit A on page Outlook 21 in your Microsoft Office book. Um, if you have read the unit, which hopefully you have, and maybe even completed the training, um, then you should already be pretty familiar with Outlook. And even if you haven't, you do have some familiarity with Outlook because Outlook is what we use for our student email here at the college. So I'm just logging into my student email. Please note this is my student email account. I don't really check it, so please do not send an email to this email address. And once I've logged in, you can see that what I see here looks similar to what our book um, looks like as far as Outlook goes, but it is a little bit different. But that's okay because we are using the web version of Outlook instead of the installed client version. And the whole point of this exercise isn't to necessarily um, make you know everything there is to know about Outlook, but no matter what email program you're using, a lot of the concepts are the same, and that's what it is important that you know how to do. So in Independent Challenge 1, all you're going to have to do is create a new email message. You are going to address it to yourself, and then you're going to use the CC, or courtesy copy, or a carbon copy field to send the message to two other people. And the reason that we would use CC in an email is to keep from having to send um, individual email messages to a group of people. We also use it sometimes because maybe my email message is really important to the person that I'm actually sending it to, but then I need some other people to be aware of it too. So I CC them just so everybody can stay on the same page and up to date. So to do that, I'm simply going to click New Mail. And here in the two, as my directions state, I'm going to address the email address um, to myself. And then I'm going to CC a couple other people. And I asked you to send this to my email address. So you will send it to nogglel at clevelandcc.edu. And then you are going to type in the um, subject and the body as directed in Independent Challenge 1. Now once I have typed in my message, and you're actually going to type in the message, I'm simply going to click Send. And as you can see, it did not take very long at all for this email to um, appear in my inbox. If it didn't, then I could just click Inbox to refresh the inbox. But I'm going to open the message up, and the next part of the independent challenge asks you to open that message in your inbox and to um, print it, which we are not going to do. But what you are going to do is you're going to forward this message to another person. We would forward a message if we need someone who is not on the original email to see it. Maybe I forgot to send it to somebody who needed to see this information. But to forward an email, I'm going to simply click the forward button here. And in the to field for this assignment, I'm asking you to forward it to CIS 110 instructor at gmail.com. And when you forward a message, then everything that you originally sent, if any replies are here, anything else is going to be sent with it. And I would type whatever additional message I need to include there. And you can look um, at page 22 for what you need to type. And then I'm going to click Send. And then, except for going in and deleting the messages if I'm done with them, I am finished with Independent Challenge 1.